Hey, second graders, happy Tuesday. I hope you are doing well. Um, yesterday, I totally forgot to mention this, but welcome to June. We're in a new month. Um, it's June 2nd today, so yesterday was the, actually the first month. And this is also the last month of school. And man, oh man, it looks much different than I anticipated, but that's okay. We're still gonna do a lot of fun stuff. We have an award ceremony coming up um, and we're still all looking forward to summer, I'm sure. So that's coming up quickly. Um, we are in June and we actually have two birthdays that we get to celebrate this month. The first one is Nikki's. His birthday is on the 25th of June. And then just a few days later is Emerson's birthday on the 29th. So I bet those boys are very excited for their birthdays, which are coming up very quickly. We'll get to celebrate their birthdays and summer birthdays uh, at our award ceremony, which is coming up as well. So, few things to mark on your calendars. I've already talked a little bit about a couple of these. Um, but next week, June 10th and 11th, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., that's a chance your families um, can go pick up your supplies from school, from Sacagawea, um, the things that were in your desk. I actually went in today and took all my little um, paper bags and put everyone's name on them and went through your stuff, put all your stuff in a bag, uh, stapled it shut so it's ready to go for next week so that's next week um, and you'll just pull up and we'll bring you your bag right to your car so it'll be social distance and everything will be safe there so make sure you um, go to SAC on one of those days um, then on June 18th that's a Thursday we're gonna have our special award ceremony and it's gonna be through zoom uh, it's Thursday at 2 o'clock, and that will be our end of the year celebration. Every student will get a very special award that I pick out for you. You will get a, your very own Oscar, uh, which is like a trophy. It's very fancy. Um, and then uh, we'll get to celebrate every student. Um, it'll be a lot of fun, so make sure you plan on coming to our Zoom if you can for that. And then on Friday, the next day, Friday, June 19th, I will be coming to everybody's houses to drop off your very special awards, your Oscar, and I'm also bringing um, two special little summer um, presents for you guys to celebrate end of the year. Um, so that's coming up quickly as well. So we've got a lot of stuff to look forward to. It's gonna be fun. So let's move on. Um, let's check out where Penelope was. Let's listen to the clue I gave to you on Friday. There's so much to do here for a music fan like myself. I toured Graceland and went to the concert at the Grand Old Opry. Tomorrow I'm off to the Memphis Zoo. Maybe I'll volunteer to help feed the tigers since this is known as the volunteer state. Would you believe I'm lost again? Would you be so kind as to tell me which state I'm visiting this time? All right, she's lost again. And Penelope, you are lost in the state of Tennessee. She is in Tennessee. So here is a map of the United States. And Tennessee is right here. It's kind of a long state like this. And it borders Kentucky and Virginia to the north. And then, let me look at my compass row so I don't talk, tell you wrong. North Carolina and South Carolina to the east. To the south, we have Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. And then to the west, we have Arkansas and Missouri. Wow, it's a lot of different states are surrounded and bordering it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I guess South Carolina doesn't really touch it. It kind of looks like it does, but it doesn't. Um, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that might, that might be the most bordered state. All these different states bordering it, that's pretty cool. All right, so she was in Tennessee. She's lost again, I have a new clue for you. Um, but before I share it, Bennett wants a mask on her. Here we go. Okay, she's got her mask on. All right, here's your new clue. Oh, I'm sorry. So you guys said Nashville. These were the students who told me Nashville. Let me get it. Or I'm sorry, Tennessee. Nashville's the state we were talking about. Um, my mom, Lucas, Weston, Adelaide, Caden, Raven, Marley, and Bennett. They all said Tennessee was the state that she was in, which is correct. Okay, here's your new clue. 
I met a friendly stranger and asked her what I should see in this state. She said, Little Rock. I'm not sure what she meant. So I pulled out my magnifying glass and began looking at stones. There are so many beautiful little rocks here. After I examined the rocks, I went to visit the birthplace of former President Bill Clinton. Tomorrow, I'm going to see the Mississippi River. I don't know where I am. What state am I in? All right, so somebody told her to look at the little rock. So she was looking for the little, at little rocks, and then she's visiting the former um, birthplace of President Bill Clinton, and then she's also visiting the Mississippi River. So those are all different things you can be looking up for this new clue to see if you can figure out where Penelope is. I will tell you which state she's in on Friday and give you a new clue. So if you think you know where she is, let me know. All right, moving on to the one, the only, Bob. We left off on chapter, this one is called The Very Handsome Dog. Uh, we left off, let's see, we were talking with Bob, and he had just finished me talking to Ruby. Hi, Aunt Kenyani, Ruby calls. Once again, Ruby says, Kenyani, I am not your aunt. I am a primate, and you, my dear, are not. More's the pity. But if Ivan is my uncle, then you have to be my aunt, Ruby declares. Um says Ivan, pointing to the wall. My painting, Bob? I consider. It looks like, like a dog? Ruby flaps her ears. I can tell she's trying very hard to stay quiet. A very handsome dog, I added. Is it? It is, Ruby explains. It's you, Uncle Bob. Uncle Ivan told me. But who's that? I asked, pointing to another set of mud strokes. I thought you needed a companion, said Ivan. I know you must get lonely at home by yourself all day. It's true, but I never mentioned that to Ivan. Guys like a mind reader. I think Snickers and Bob would make a cute couple, said Ruby. I blink in disbelief. Bite your trunk. Ruby starts to reply, but her voice is drowned out by a sharp clap of thunder. Storm's getting close, says Kenyani. Ivan, dear, come on. You know you ha uh, how you hate the damp. It's true. He carries around old burlap bags so he won't have to sit on wet grass. Uh, that makes sense. Ivan looks at me sheepishly. She knows me so well. Kudzo, one of the baby gorillas, bounds over and leaps onto Ivan's back. Ivan loves all the youngsters, but Kudzo is his favorite. I think I think she reminds him of the little twin sister Tag, who died when she was still a baby when they were still a baby. So there's Ivan and the baby. Um, I think they said her name was Kudzu. Kudzo. Kudzu. Ride, Kudzu commands. Julia appears, her backpack at the ready. Bob, she calls, we need to get going. Right now, Kudzu repeats, yanking on one of Ivan's ears. Looks like it's time to go, says Ivan. Good to see you, buddy. Stay dry, okay? Will do, big guy. I turn to Kenyani. Enchanted as always, my dear. A trumpeting noise cuts through the air. Uh-oh, says Ruby. That's Aunt Akello. Akello, the oldest of the elephant ants lumbers over come on ruby weather's getting bad just one more minute ruby pleads now but i need to tell uncle bob one more riddle now akello repeats nobody ever listens to the littlest elephant ruby complains you can tell me the riddle next time kiddo i say winking at akello ruby brightens okay gotta go or i'll be in trouble Love you, Uncle Bob. See you later, Uncle Ivan and Aunt Kenyani. I am not your Kenyani begins, but Ruby is already galloping back to her herd. Next one I'll read. I think this will probably be my last one. It's called The Beginning. In the distance, thunder growls, long and low, not giving up. Reminds me of my stomach, pre-breakfast. I test the air, weird. Something isn't right. Julia! 
It's George rushing over. Hurry up, you need to get inside. George has an odd scent, like he's on guard. I've only smelled it a few times on him. I look up. The clouds have turned strange shades of green and yellow and gray, clustered together like rows of fat marshmallows. It's so ugly, it's beautiful. I can't stop looking. The air goes still, like a cat before it leaps on its prey. Kenyani and Ivan and Kudzu are racing towards the gorilla villa. A fat raindrop hits my nose. It tastes wrong. How can rain taste dangerous? People are yelling and running, opening umbrellas, covering their heads with maps of the park. More drops. At the far end of the field, I can just make out a kello herding Ruby along. Another drop. A dry one. Like a pebble. Hail, George says. Julia, now, he grabs her hand. Rumbling, the sky boils and swirls. Bob, Julia calls, come on. I move to leap off my perch, to run to Julia. I've done it a thousand times, but this time I lose my footing. I never slip. I am as nimble as nutwit, but the rain and the hail. I let out a yelp as I land on Ivan's side of the wall, splat in the mud. Bob, Julia screams. He'll be okay, George says. I can smell Julia's fear and George's doubt as he drags her away. Whoa. The next one is called Torn Apart. I'm going to stop there. That is intense. There is a storm coming and Bob just fell into Ivan's enclosure. So we will find out tomorrow what happens and hopefully Bob is okay and Ivan can come help him. All right, guys. Uh, hope you have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Um, see you later.